Hey, Bikeaholics, you're probably here because you were simply doing an oil change service on your Harley Davidson in your garage, and it happened. It, you stripped out one of the head uh, bolts, one of the heads on the bolts that secure your primary cover that you had off to simply put some more fluids in your primary, and it happens, guys. The first thing I want you to do is stop. Take a deep breath, relax. We got your back. So you may have been doing maintenance in your garage, regular routine maintenance, uh, likely based off one of our very, very popular maintenance video, lawabidingbiker.com slash maintenance. We'll teach you how to save a ton of money and have the satisfaction of doing your routine maintenance right in your garage on the kickstand with very, very few tools. All right, in that process is you always have to change your primary oil. We all know there's a circle cover over that primary. Um, and there's bolts around that. Well, what happens is over time, likely because people over tighten them, we specifically tell you not to do that in our maintenance videos, but it happens. And just over time, those heads of those bolts, not the threads, but the actual heads, you put a Torx drive in them, they get stripped out over time. Trust me, every dealership, and I've talked to the dealership, people come in with their bikes, and this is a problem, and there's very, very easy ways to extract those. We're gonna show you how to do that right in your very own garage. So you're looking at the primary cover, and every time we do an oil change, of course, we remove this primary cover. If you wanna learn how to do a complete oil change yourself and save yourself a ton of money, uh, you can head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash maintenance, which is our regular YouTube maintenance video, and then we have a higher end for sale for purchase video over at lawabidingbiker.com slash 2014 Harley Maintenance. Anyways, what some people run into, depending on where you, buy, you know, bought your bike and who's done maintenance on it before, these get cranked down too far. And uh, these little torques, they're T27, a T27 bit. And oftentimes they will get cranked down too much. And we talk about that in our videos, you don't need to tighten these much, but in the event they do, they kind of, the heat kind of welds them in there, so to speak. And you'll actually be trying to back these out. It's a common uh, problem at dealerships too, even Hardy dealerships, is you'll be trying to back these out and you'll actually, because they're so tight, the insides will over time end up getting stripped out. And of course, then you can't get it out because uh, it's all stripped out and you can't get a tool in there. Well, don't fear, there is an easy solution and likely the same thing they do at the dealerships. There's different kinds of tools, but don't freak out. Uh, I would keep a few of these extras on hand. Um, if not, you can rush to the hardware store or to your local Harley dealership and get these replacement bolts for your primary cover. Simple little tool you can buy at different hardware stores and uh, let me give you a closer look at what this is. All right, so what I'm holding here is what I call a backout tool. They have different names. You can find them at your local hardware store. Um, they're pretty simple tools, uh, but very, very effective. So don't freak out if you strip those bolts. So basically what we have here on these tools is you can see it has a square in. It is steel, and you can hook a you know wrench or pliers or whatever you want to this end. All right, and what we're focusing on here is the tip. And this is the part that will actually go into the head of the bolt. We have to drill a small hole, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and then we actually hammer this so this tip goes into that hole. And then on the side here, I'll try to get you some different angles, is there's little beveled edges or cutouts, and they're really sharp. And so basically those, once you drill the hole and hammer it in there, they will bite on the inside of that bolt, and then we can back it out just like we would any bolt with pliers or a wrench or anything like that. But again, simple back out tool, and they do make them in different sizes depending on the size of bolt that you're dealing with. All right, so I've got my drill bit here in my drill. The main thing is, you know, this back out uh, bit is tapered. So basically I'm getting a drill bit that's about the same thickness uh, as this. You don't want to go thicker, of course. And then, you know, because it is tapered, once we get the hole in there, we'll get a hammer and we can get, at least get the first part of the started hammered in up until it, it's nice and snug before we start backing out. So just kind of match your bit up, which is what I've done here and I feel like that's the appropriate size. I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling into one of our affected bolts here. And you don't have to drill in all the way. Um, I'm just gonna drill in, you know, uh, maybe an eighth of an inch or something like that. 
All right, so we've got our hole drilled in there, you know, about an eighth inch deep or so, or a little deeper, whatever. Um, we've got our extraction tool, uh, or back out tool, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put that tapered end in there, and then simply start hammering this in. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you want to make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can ensure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever want to just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it. Lawabidingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's a Law Abiding Biker podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, and the key here is, of course, the extractor tool like I showed you is square. And so make sure you have a good set of tools, whether it's pliers. I like to use the vice grips here. I got a really, really good bite on there and because uh, you don't want it slipping, of course. And then, of course, you can just crank it, and that extractor tool is jammed in there from the hammer and the hole we drilled, and it's that easy, guys. Uh, you can go ahead and back that out the rest of the way. And of course, I have these little bolts on hand, and I will replace this bolt uh, with that so I don't have to deal with that problem anymore. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.